So you want your Mac to read your news back to you every morning? I do. I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. And so what we have today is a very quick one. I say this every video, but I promise this time it will be true. Maybe. No, it will be actually. So what I'm going to do is my workflow, every day I get up, I walk around on a stand-up desk and I want the news read to me or I want maybe a sports article read to me. So how do I do that on my Mac? You know, when I say read to me, I mean it's going to speak the text right to me. There's a couple, you know, you can set this up so it's just one keystroke and it's going to then start reciting the entire article back to you. So you can go ahead over to the other side of the room and it's going to read everything back to you. You get to learn that article without even reading it. I'll show you how to do that. Most people might know this, that's fine. You can do this with documents that you create so you can listen to how they sound after you create them if you want, or emails that you create so it can read it back to you just to see if it sounds correctly. So anyways, it's useful for a lot of things. There's a couple different ways you have to set it up depending on if, you know, if you're on an older OS of Mac OS or a newer one. Very similar though, I'll show you that. And then also, if you wanna go ahead and change the speed so it's slower than I'm talking, like I always talk fast, or if it's a lot, you want it to be a lot faster. And I recommend that because if you want it a lot faster, let's say you're doing research for school or something, and you want something read to you really fast just so you can kind of get all the information quickly. You know, you don't want to sit there for hours listening to a research article or something. I'll show you how to do that. And then finally, if the person that's reading it back on the Mac, if their voice annoys you, kind of like mine annoys you maybe, um, you can change it to anything you want. I'll show you how to do that as well. So sit back, relax. We'll go through it quickly. It should take two minutes, I promise you. And, uh, and then I'll wrap up the video at the end and hopefully you'll learn something from it. All right, let me show you how quick this is. So what you wanna do is you wanna go up to your Apple icon, you wanna click on System Preferences, and right away you wanna look for Accessibility, which is this little circle with the guy in it, and click on that. Now I'm in Mojave because I'm on a little bit older system. I do a lot of reviews. So you know this is gonna be a little bit different, I'll tell you in a second. But on Mojave, in, in earlier versions, on the left-hand side there's an icon here called Speech. And I'm gonna click on speech, see it right there? Now, if you're on like, uh, I believe it's like Big Sur or some of the newer M1 versions, there's a, this link will be called spoken content, spoken content, not speech. So that's really the main difference. So look for that as well. Everything else is kind of similar or you can at least figure it out. So just get in there and fool around with it after you see this. Anyways, so I clicked on speech here. If I go over here to this side, there's a little box here that says speak selected text when the text when the key is pressed. So what I want to do there is I want to select that and then it says option escape is the keystroke to read the text back to me. Well I can change that by clicking change key but I really don't want to do that just because I'm used to the option escape and it's not really meant for anything else. So once that's selected, let's say I want to go up to the news, let's say I'm going to go walk into the corner and do something but I want to still have this news, this article, let's say about Apple Monterey coming up. I want this read back to me. All I have to do, and I'll just show you really quickly, is I highlight the text, and it can be the entire article if you want it to be. You just highlight it like that, and then go and click Option Escape and listen to what happens. Registered developers can download the beta through the Apple Developer Center, and once the appropriate profile is installed, betas will be available through the software update mechanism and system preferences. All right, you saw that. Now, the funny thing is, is I left it on pretty quick. So let's say I'm doing a research paper, and I want it to be really fast like that. I can go in and do that. Or I can actually, let's say I'm, there's a part that I really want to learn about. Like, it, you know, this is about the Alaskan purchase. I think we probably all forgot about that, right? But let's just say there's a part I really want to learn about and I want to concentrate on. Or again, you can make it go super fast like I just did so that you can learn a lot quickly. But if you want it to be slow, you just basically, you know, you can select everything. You can go into here. Then up here, there's a slider bar. If you notice, I had it pretty fast up here. Um, this is under the same area that I was just in, just, just FYI. Um, but it was way over here and fast. But if I go way over here on slow, I can actually do the exact opposite. So I can click on this and then I'll just go ahead and I'll click on op option escape. Alaska purchase 1867 acquisition by the United States. Right, I just turned it off. You can turn it off with the same keystroke, you know, the option escape. So you get the idea. It's usually the other way around. I usually go fast to these type of boring stuff slower through other stuff. So it just depends what you want there. And then finally, the, there's two, well, there's a couple more things. If you don't like the person's voice, you can click this right here. You can choose Fred, Victoria, Siri, female, Samantha, or you can even customize the voice if you want to. So you can, you know, obviously that voice is pretty annoying and uh, 
Everyone says mine is too. I keep saying that, but anyways. Anyways, you get the idea. You can change it if you want. All right, and just to wrap this up, if you do want to change the voice, I, people are going to ask me that question. You can go into that customize again, and Apple provides a whole bunch, look in here, a whole bunch of different voices that you can go ahead and try. There's Chinese and Arabic, but then there's also English and you know a whole bunch of different languages even, different people, English novelty voices and things like that. So obviously some of these may not work. They're kind of fun to fool around with though. So you can go in here. I'm sure you can download a bunch of them as well, but that's all that is. So you got to pick the voice that you like. All right, so what do you think? Not too bad, right? It's simple to set up. It takes literally two seconds. It takes less than that time to hit a keystroke and have it read back to you. So. It's one of those tips, again, most people kind of know they're out there. Most people have heard of them or they know they can do them, but unless they're actually shown how, they never even venture to even try. So all I'm trying to do is show people there's more things built into macOS than you think. This is more of an accessibility feature, but again, anyone can use it for any reason. And uh, in some reasons, is like for me, it's just my morning coffee and I want to listen to the news without actually uh, listening to the, you know, the TV or something. I can go ahead and pick the article and then just have it recite back to me over as long as I want, depending on the speed. Pretty easy. Um, anyways, I make a ton of videos like this. This is a quick one, so subscribe if you can, help out the channel, and uh, let me know what you want to hear about. I'm going to do some reviews coming up on some more Mac stuff and some cases and everything else in between, so we will talk to you in a day or two. Talk to you soon. Peace.